morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching from, depending on your time. If it's your first time you come across at our Lord YouTube channel, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our video. And don't also forget to turn on the notification bell so that anytime we drop a new video, you can be notified. Thank you very much. God will bless you. And to our returning subscriber, thank you also. God will bless you. Atalo, Atalo, Atalo. We move. Brothers and sisters, today is a great day. I'm here to present something that concerns Nigeria. And uh, we know we have been suffering for some time now. Many of us want Nigeria to be divided, but uh, up to now we are not seeing any, any improvement. But uh, I believe with God, because we have cried a lot, even the other day, if you can still remember the video I did that consigned Buhari, because Buhari is among, let's just say, the major problem we have in Nigeria. Mm. Today, I was on tweet, Twitter, I saw somebody, something that interests me. I say, okay, I will come so that to come and let our brothers and sisters know it, both our viewers, because things that is going on in Nigeria is too, is terrible, in short. I would like to say what I come across in the tweet by uh, uh, Omoyele Showore. I would like to read it to the ES. Then after that, I will also say something that concerns the Senate, the discussion they were having with the President. I will also come and let people know about that. Thank you very much. I would like to read the one of Omoyele Showore then before I commence on the other one. Thank you very much. I read. He said, Fellow Nigerians, we are passing a vote on no confidence. And that is what we believe is going to happen to Buhari. And is asking fellow Nigerians, except maybe the situation of Nigeria, you are okay with it. But if you are not okay, this is the right thing to do. Is the right thing to do. Because Buhari refused to leave that power. But he forgot that it is the masses that voted him into that power. And I said it before. If he refused to leave, he's going to experience Things that he has never experienced since his birth. People that voted you in decide you to leave the, the, the president the presidency, but you refuse. You refuse. You think we can continue looking you like that? You think the Nigerians can continue watching you 
after all you have been doing, insecurity and all, it's not possible. Let me continue, please. On press, he said, on President Mohammed Buhari, that is, we have to vote of no confidence on President Muhari, uh, uh, Muhammad Buhari over his abysmal performance in office. We only need you to retweet. It's not telling us with the citizen to retweet. That is why as a Nigerian citizen, wherever you are, you can go to Twitter and retweet. Because it's time enough is enough. It's time to end everything. It's time to put an end into the, the mess Buhari has been causing us in our country. I continue, please. We only need you to retweet or comment on this by writing, I hereby pass a vote of no confidence. That is all he's asking we fellow Nigeria that knows that the situation of Nigeria is unbearable. That is why we have to start it from the head. If we start it from the head, I believe we will see the end. Thanks. I continue. Time to take a, a stand on the fair president of Buhari because he's a fair president and it's true Buhari is a fair president because of that what is asking us we Nigeria that know the situation of our country is not conducive for humor that is why I'm here now to inform you people also. And we have to share this message so that people of Nigeria can get the what we are trying to do, can know what we are trying to do. Because it's no longer a new thing or what has just started now. Everybody know how our country, they, mislead, they are misleading our citizens and uh, the way things are going on. And we need to make sure we end this so that we can... We can live, we can live another life. Because living as a Nigeria, I don't think it's advisable. It's not advisable. Because those leaders, they are not ready to change. They are not ready for any amendment, any restructuring. Because they themselves, they are confused. They don't know where to start. How they are going to tackle the situation. Kidnapping here, everywhere. Things that, so, that don't supposed to happen. That is what is happening in our country. Which we can no longer take it. We are not going to take it anymore. Enough is enough. 
Enough is enough. Thank you very much. Let me go to the next one. Those are Senate discussion. Then I read a little bit. I will not drop the video so that you people will see what happened in that meeting you went to. Thank you. I read. Senate discussion President Buhari impeachment. Even the senators are mindful of what they are saying. That is, the senators, they themselves, they have decided and they know despite people are still not saying the truth there. Maybe they are afraid of Buari. And if you want to be afraid of that evil man, solution will not come. We cannot bear it. We cannot. It's impossible for Nigerians to 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 that is to allow Buari to continue in that presidency. It's not possible. I would like to drop this video now so that you people can watch it also. And don't forget to drop your comment, please, so that we, we can know your own opinion. Thank you very much, my brothers and sisters. Bye. For the National Assembly. We must hate, and that's the painful part. Our resolution don't mean anything. Our bills that are passed are not assented to. The more you say it, the more annoying it is to the president. He will never change them. Therefore, Mr. President, please, I want you to have a cautious look at Section 1.3. Section 1.3 is not about removal, Mr. President. There are certain actions that the National Assembly can take. I am not saying the president must be removed. No, it will be premature. But let us take a resolution signed by one third of us, of members of the National Assembly, and sent to him that again, we are not prodding him, we are compelling him. That, Mr. President, we want to inundate you with the insecurity in this country. In my position, I'm not asking for his impeachment, I'm asking that he be compelled. Is Mr. President waiting for us to bring a formal motion to the floor of this house to say we pass a vote of no confidence? Is that what they are waiting for? We should sit down within ourselves and say it as it is and take appropriate actions. Mr. President, if you have any problem with that, allow the Senate to do it. We understand your position. You are in a difficult position. <laughs> but let me tell you, Mr. President, God will ask you, Wallahi, this is not the end. The Constitution is clear. It did not limit what we can do. We must call the attention of our president. We voted for him. Nigerians voted for him for the fact that we are consistently, as a government, failing in our responsibility under Section 42B. There should be a specific resolution in that one. It's a constitution. All of us here, those are our colleagues earlier today, swore to uphold the constitution. The presidency is not an award. It's a call to duty. And when you call a man to duty, he must be dutiful enough to know when the buck stops on his table. And right now, Mr. President, the buck, as far as security is concerned, stops squarely on the table of Mr. President. This government has failed all of us. There is no doubt about that. If we decide that government must do something before we will, we will produce the budget, I am sure they will be up and doing it. Since Friday, 300, over 300 children have been moved. Then we have security people who are just collecting money and building big, big houses in Abuja. And then we say that we can only pay lip service. And then we say we are representing the people who are not representing them. We must address this issue the way it is. The level at which people are killed, I think we need to rethink on how to make 
the security architecture responsive to the security challenges of today.